Okay, I think we are at day 41 here for the I Do and the Old Reliable Aero Gardens. I got my tomato plants here that are just growing like crazy and as you can see they are taking over the whole uh, growing space here. They have a lot of extra branches and as you can see here on my Aero Garden they are sucking up a lot of water. So first of all, I'm going to give this arrow garden some more water right away and then we're going to start pruning down these tomatoes, get rid of a lot of extra foliage that we don't really need and get them ready for uh, pollination. We've got a lot of flowers on here, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that set up. So I got to sit up here so that I can kind of walk you around every angle of this arrow garden to show you how much foliage we got going here with two dwarf tomato plants. And if you recall, I have a basil way back here that is getting totally uh, blocked out of the light. And in the front, we got some thyme, which is still, you know, hanging in there pretty good. Okay, so we're going to start down at the base here of the plants and try to get rid of some of these branches, get a little airflow going in through here. And I'm just using regular scissors here that I have just sterilized with just a little bit of um, hydrogen peroxide. I probably should get myself a real pair of uh, shears down here, but these seem to work. So you just kind of start hacking away at your tomato. It really is pretty tough and can take some really uh, harsh trimming here. So I'm gonna just try to start at the bottom, get some of this little foliage out of here. Once we get a fan going, you know, the air can flow through a little bit better. And as you can see, I had to add water again. I think, you know, having all these excess branches on here really sucks up a lot. Of water so don't need to have them here you just kind of watch for the branches that have the blooms coming off of them because you want to make sure that you're not cutting those off the ones that I'm cutting off don't have any signs of blooms or anything coming on them I kind of want to be able to get this uh, basil out in the open again too so it can keep growing. I like to take a little harvest off of it every week. So that was a tiny tim. So I'm going to start by, say, hacking away at the bottom a little bit. So over here is the yellow cherry. And it's starting to show a little sign of stress here. So I think it's a little bit overdue to prune it down a bit. So you just kind of have to walk around, have a look at it from different angles. See where you're cutting off. See this one here does have some, some little blooms on it, so I'm not going to chop that one off. Such a thick plant, these uh, dwarf tomatoes. They really got pretty heavy, thick foliage. As you can see, I got some blooms coming here. I'm going to chop this one off down here. and give you an angle here from the top. I said some of these branches are looking a little uh, weak. I'll try cutting this one off. <coughs> it does have a lot of suckers coming in between some of these branches, so watch which ones you can trim some of those off as well okay 
Okay, so just kind of have a look and see what we got left here. So we got branch with blooms here, some blooms here, back here, up here. We got lots, lots of blooms. I think I'm going to hack off one more branch and then I'm going to stop. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Said it looks pretty thin and uh, gangly now, but I, just by getting rid of a lot of those branches that are just basically sucking up nutrients, um, should turn out to be a little bit healthier plant. I hope. Very tempted to cut this one off just because it seems so big. It does have a little sucker coming here that's probably going to have some some blooms on it. So we're going to do it. Okay, so as you can see here, I have really hacked away at these two tomato plants pretty good. I've thinned them out quite a bit. Lots of room now at the bottom for lots of airflow. I've left lots of branches with uh, flowers coming and blooms happening. So I hope uh, it can make it through the shock of all the, the chopping I've done tonight. And here is what I took off of the t tomato plants on my arrow garden here. The basil's got some light again. Time's got lots of room to grow. So now it's time to work on the I do tomatoes and uh, get them trimmed up. So growing in the I do with my tomatoes here I have the mint and the chamomile at the back here which are hanging in there pretty good, growing good. I could be harvesting some mint already. So I want to try to kind of open up Take a get rid of some of this foliage on the tomatoes just so these guys are getting some more light. At the front here I planted some arugula but it's kind of a big uh, plant that needs a lot of space. I'm just going to actually pull this out and cover that hole up. And at the back here this poor little oregano is struggling to try and grow and I can see I didn't cover up this pod. I see there's some mold growing on it as opposed to LJ or maybe that is kind of an LJ so I'm gonna maybe cover that up as well and my chives never did come so I'm gonna just close up that hole as well I'm just pulling out the arugula plant here and you can see that it's it's making the other plants move because all the roots are intertwined with each other. I'm just going to keep pulling gently and see how far I can go. If I need to, I can always... Oh, okay. So it's released here. These roots obviously belong to the tomatoes, so I'll just gently push them back in here. So I bought some of these a little while ago that kind of do the same job as that pool noodle that you can you just put them around your the stem of your seedling and it'll cover the hole keep out the light so I'm just going to use that right now in here as I mentioned here this oregano has a lot of what looks to be mold or algae coming here and you can see there's a the seedling actually ended up on the outside of the pod I must have just dropped seed on this edge there and that's the one that took off I'm actually going to try one of these that I bought I might as well see how it works I think it's pretty slick so you just basically open it up and wrap it around the stem of your seedling get it in place there you go I like it 
You have to get some more of these. Okay, so this is what they look like now that they've had their hair cut. I think they look way happier. They've got lots of breathing room. We've got lots of blooms here that we uh, need to get pollinating on. Over here on the I do, I see that nothing is blooming yet, but there is still, I can see lots of uh, little flowers and buds forming here. So hopefully in the next week or so, those will catch up as well. And as you can see, there's lots of space underneath. My chamomile's got lots of light now and mint. And hopefully this little oregano guy will take off too. So I'll probably keep trimming away a little bit throughout the week. So we'll check back in about three days, four days, uh, just to see how these plants have survived uh, the butchering that I gave them tonight. So it has been about five days since we've done the uh, pruning on these Arrow Garden and I Do tomatoes. We are at day 47 since they've been planted and these plants are looking really good. As you can see they got lots of airflow, not too many excessive branches on them. We got tons of blooms coming here on both the Arrow Garden and on the I Do plants. So that's great. So I'm going to be running this fan here. I use set it for uh, two or three hours every day and just let it blow gently on the plants to help with pollination. Come around, give them a little flick every once in a while. And they seem to uh, do pretty well with that. And hopefully, as you can see here, you can always see we have a little tiny tomato coming. So we should be able to uh, see some fruit probably in the next uh, 10 to 20 days. So thank you for watching my part three of the Arrow Garden versus the I Do systems. And stay tuned for upcoming videos where I will show you some of the harvest from these plants. Thank you for watching and happy gardening.